this is Jen Jeff here, and we're back with Steel Division, and it's I'm spectating. <laughs> I can't get into a game that's starting really soon, and I want to make content relatively quickly because it's been a day. So we're just spectating. It's a 10v10 tactical game, and I don't like tactical anyway, so. I am a happy clam watching other people play tactical. Which means this is going to be a more cinematic experience as we fly around the map and look at the amazing, shockingly beautiful game that this game is. Uh, these guys don't have a truck. That's, uh, that's awkward. They're going to have a long walk. Who just made that mark? I don't have a mini-map. So... I can't even... can I even tell what armies there are? No, I, I can't. I don't have a list of players on the side to tell me who they are. Am I at the life point? Maybe not, we'll speed up things. Oh, is this even working? There we go. There we go. It is live. We are watching live. So we got a bunch of... oh, there we go. Now I have everything. So, we've got Cap, con uh, I'm going to call this guy Cap, Cyber, PA, uh, <laughs> FMOL, Kenosis, Ven, Shred Turtle, I'm going to call him Arnold, 2, Patton, Battle Cake, that sounds good, Battle Cake, Dr. Winston O. Boogie, Batharis, Batharis, Hobby, Paladin Lepa, GG, John Fed um, Fed. That's good. He's just fed now. Eub. I'm going to call him Eub. Resta and Baba Khan Barker. Everybody's decks are group or whatever the Lolo logo. Nine Year Guard, Third Armored Division, Second French Armored Division, Blindy Thing. 3rd Guard Tank Corps, uh, 29 Tank Corps, 2 Tank Corps again, um, 97 Guard, 184 Strelikovi, and 3 uh, VDV. With 352nd, yes, someone's representing the 352nd, that deck is abysmally garbage, love it. Uh, SS Panzer, 12 SS Panzer, Tullion, an Entertaining Division. Yes, the Finns. Panzer Divisiona. Uh, Tart. There we go. Uh, Fulsham Jaeger. Fulsham Jaeger Panzer. 16. Panzer Lear. Panzer Grenadier. But the 352nd is one of my favorite decks because it is trash. And usual mortar exchanges. Here comes some recon planes and IL-2M going for these guys. Oh, he's going for the panther, and the panther guy's not paying attention. Nope, it's too late, Raza. Razta. It's too late. And an early kill to the allies. That plane came in too late to help. Uh, looks like the allies have the town, but the Axis have across, advanced across the river. Here comes the Fulsham Jaeger guys over here, or at least some Jaegers. They're pushing. They're pushing this side. The city is in a bit rough shape. The Brewster's still up here. Look at that plane. It is glitching my screen out. Yes. Yes, glitch screen. Glitch. Glitch. Oh my, what are these guys? Ooh, that's an interesting machine gun. Breda 30. 6.5. They have defeated the SG-43. Uh, BA-10Ms are advancing across through the woods. Um... Uh, they do not have anti-tank rifles. They will have a hard time fixing that. This guy, Juror here, has spotted... Oh. Duboss. Duboss, and this unit here, has spotted these guys. 
He's advancing this way with that and kind of ignoring the BA 10 M's. Situation has uh, not really stabilized in the town. Yeah, these armored cars and stuff aren't being used to. Oh, that might be able to take care of a few things. Question is no, that is not longer range AT. That is rather short range AT. Messages over here. Already wait. Okay. Where's the Artie? Uh, that is a very good question. Uh, the infantry commander there is under attack and is going to be wiped out because it's too close to the front. But there's another infantry command there that is doing its job. So it's not so bad. This appears to be trying to sneak around the side. Oh, these guys are better than I would have expected. And there's the artillery that was called, that was promised. Oh, that tiger. Oh. That almost died to a side shot. Because I'm pretty sure, let's see. 75 mils of arm pen on the side. And, oh, 85. Nope, it wouldn't have. Ah, uh, depending on the range, it might have actually been able to do it. But they're now being countered by allied heavy artillery from this long tom in the back. Boom. Just has to fire occasionally. Random bits of death from the sky. Oh, this commander's still exposed. And those guys all surrendered. And he's bringing in a tiger into the woods, and these guys have infantry that can, um, that have anti-tank. Here comes a load of stuff from the new Tillion division to plug this gap. So what do we have going on elsewhere in the city, in the city, in the city? Allies are making ground because they do not have adequate anti-tank. And that is... The Stug can do it. The question is, is the Stug going to live long enough to do it? T-34 got first hit, but T-34 goes down to the Stug. On the right side, the Germans have crossed the river and are pushing against the Allies. Oh, their command unit just exposed itself to two units, and he is still alive. <laughs> the poor Brewster fighter is up in the middle of all this. Will he survive? Yeah, he'll survive. And the commander went down. Oh, I got a T-3476. Now they're pushing back a little bit better here because they got to the, uh, and the Allies are losing ground because that Stug defeated the T-34. And the Valentine has finally, from spawning time, gotten to the front line. Yes, that thing has probably been moving for the past eight minutes. Um, yeah, the Allies are struggling in the woods here. Huh! He's brought this up. That's a... That is a first. I have never seen that thing moved up to the front before like that. Look at this. The BA-10Ms are still rampaging through. This Lova's unit here could just walk over. Just jaunt on over. And kill both of those. There he goes. There he goes. Yes, the allies, the allies are being aided by a guy who's not really paying that much attention. Come on. Go for it, GG. Go. Oh, nope. They've spotted it. They've spotted it. And so that continues going through. 
Oh my god, the, the armored cars are gonna break all the way to the rear. The Stug is chasing. Lovis is still chasing those scouts. From door. The BMW is caught. Oh, it finally drops one. And there goes the other BA-10. Allies. Those guys got through pretty much, pretty well there. Allies are still doing fairly decent in the city. The Germans are pushing them out of the outskirts that they held, but they've got reinforcements coming in. Here comes a sniper. Sniper's not going to live. Oh, he unloaded. That was automatic unloading. One of the snipers are down. The Valentine has HE shells. Not a lot of them, but it had them. 15. It starts with 15. Okay. Yeah, the Dushka is being annoying. Oh, it's a 50 cal Dushka. Yes, more Daka. Lots of Daka. Ooh, your loader's out. Yeah, they've pushed themselves across the, the river here pretty well. Allies are having a hard time on the left side of the Allies and the right side of the Axis. There just isn't that many people. It's just, um, well, no, there's two. It's Ven and Patton against Paladin and John. But they're having a fight there. On the other side of the woods, the Axis are starting to get the advantage when the Allies had it before. But there's a bunch of stuff coming up from Shredded Turtle and Kenosis. Well, that is a really familiar screen name. Someone... I had a friend that was on my friends list a long time ago by this name. Don't know if it's the same guy, if it is or not. Hope the guy's doing well. Uh, let's see. The city is still going on. Looks like the 3rd Armored Division here. Nope, it's not. It's Fumol with the French Armored Division. Should have known all the armored cars. Battle cake, battle cake, battle cake. Just kind of suppressing this area. What else do we got? Katusha's incoming. Ooh, how many? Question mark? From where? Oh. Just one. Oh boy. And there it goes. Volumetric smoke. And I don't think it did all that much. Ooh. This is out of ammo, though. Does he realize it's out of ammo? Probably, because he's pulling it back. So they've cleared out this area to get the extra flag. Oh my god, how close that was. Just a little bit over, and that would have been a direct hit on that and probably killed it. What was that? Uh, 109G2, Ilyu. Over here, Patton. And Van are still fighting it out against John and Paladin. Oh no, they found that guy. I like how the anti-tank guns kind of explode when they die. But yeah, it's not going particularly well over there. It's not going exceedingly well in the city either. The Germans now have their own rocket artillery. And it's taken out a bunch of the houses. Katusha's moving to reload. Second Katusha's moving up. IS-2 is covering this entire area. Ooh! Look at that shot. Long-range snipe right there. I wonder how he even saw that. Someone's got some eagle eyes. 
Another Katusha incoming. Here comes some tanks, and what this guy does not really have is a lot of anti-tank. A lot of good anti-tank. He's only got this. Penetration 35 against an armor of 40 on the side. Oh my god! The commander comes in clutch. It turns out he's got a Panzerfaust. <coughs> Who knows, maybe if I do this well enough, someone will get, get me a casting gig. Uh, <laughs> I can dream, can't I? Uh, let's see. Yeah, these guys are still there doing their thing. There's not a huge amount of activity here. It's mostly in here. And he still has not resupplied this. What's this guy's screen name? Oh, Ube. That kind of shows up differently in the blue. On blue. That looks very different. Oh, he's sending this in. Does he realize it doesn't have ammo? Ah, there goes that ar that armored car. Battle cake. Good luck with that SU-76. You got a Panzer IV-H moving up on you. No, he doesn't realize it's empty. He's moved. He's sent it in. But Vault here doesn't. But Mole here doesn't realize it's empty either, so he's running away. Oh man, that's gonna kill this unit here. This Vulture Gears unit is dead. That anti tank gun's gonna come out too late because that's not gonna stop moving. Nope, this thing still has nothing. That was the machine gun from this guy. Oh no, that means the armored car has broken through and is now being engaged by a Boforce 40. The Boforce can take it out. Without too much trouble, just takes a few shots. But the uh, SPW-231 can also take out the Boforce if he ever allowed it to shoot. The char died, this is being counter-battery fired. Oh, now this would be the perfect time to send that back out to take care of this thing. Cluster munitions to uh, shock and stun infantry. Good use of cluster munitions for that. Valentine versus a Stug at long range. Sad thing is, it probably took that Valentine about 50 minutes to get there and die. Because that thing is so slow over here. Yeah, the Germans are kind of coming out in the, the head on this. Calliope is firing into the woods. There's an H-39. Oh my god, the amount of fire. <laughs> Zoom in and just hear the death. Oh, the IL-2 died. It is anti-air. Of course, now that the supply lines are shortened and the reinforcement lines are shortened, the Allies have a bit of a better go at it. Hmm. That thing only has AP, so... Unsupported IS-2, just one shot. That, anti that truck with an anti-tank gun looked like a 75. So that's been done. Question is, what is the range of these guns? 70 mils of armor pen, range is 1,250. They must be on hold fire or efficient fire. No, he's not quite in range. Oh, this unit is being destroyed. Caught in the open. Oh! The Pumas come out. The Panzer III H's are coming out to engage the IS-2. This is... This is adorable. Let's just hide the hub. Because there's two tanks over here. 
Panzer III is moving out. Boom. Oh, you missed. They're calling in artillery, too. Oh, but there's the other IS-2 taking out stuff. He's missed again. It takes so long for that thing to fire. IS-2's nice, kind of dancing. Pointing itself towards the most dangerous threat. Mm, there goes the other Panzer III over there. Uh, yep, there's the other IS-2s over here. There's two of them now. Uh-oh. Driver knocked out. Yeah, that, that's going wide. He's too stunned to fight. Is this another Panzer III? And what are you? Oh, you're that. Okay. Oh, but they're being engaged. Oh, here comes this guy. Engaging in support. Oh, one's down? Yep, yeah, one's down. And the armored car is pulling back. And this IS-2 is still alive and a bit undamaged. And that's being hammered now. So the Allies have to fight there. They're fighting here. Transmission damaged. This is as fast as that sucker moves. And it's got his butt facing the enemy, so it's going to die. Because here comes a panther. Oh no. That panther's got him dead to rights. Oh, but he's missed again. Come on. Keep turning, keep turning. That is a luck. Nope, there he goes. Ah, oh, the story. The story of an IS-2. Oh, but here comes the IL-2. Rockets! And because the plane decent, isn't visible anymore, the IL-2 fails. Well, they're still fighting over here. So let's go back to the city. Up oh, the hill. That hill's in bad shape. The city's also in bad shape. Nope. The nice thing about being spectator, at the end, you just pick which side's winning. And then you win. Oh, yes. I am glad I got that. Just miracle snipe on a King Tiger from a, with an M3S of maximum range before they did that patch which nerfed the range of these tanks. But let's, let's go in here. Those guys are in that building. And... Okay, it blew up before the demolition charge got to it, but hey, whatever. Ooh, big K Andrusa, not Katusha. Hmm. That's why I tend to use them in pairs. There it goes, the tiger's dead. Oh, that got murdered. You, ah, that's not what I wanted to do. You've got some really big high explosive rockets on you. Probably not very accurate. Uh, the city is to a very large extent lost by the allies. P-51Ds are moving in with bombs. Wow! What kind of bombs were those? I need to get some of those. We like it. Yeah, but those guys are gonna die. <laughs> They're firing anti-tank rifles at the front of the Panzer 4H. That's not ultimately gonna work. So they got this back. Oh, they missed! They missed the half-track. Plane goes down. Don't know whose plane that was. Forty-seven millimeter guns being attacked. There 
where those go. ME-210. There's no maneuverability for this thing. Does that really have... It's got side guns. Is this... This is a fighter? It's got... It's got guns on the side. It's got little turrets. No wonder why this thing can't maneuver worth a darn. I can't bring up the info because it's leaving the map now. In the center, the allies are still having a very bad time. Look at all the... There's four katushas in the back here being reloaded. Oh god, they even... They even don't even have this. Oh boy. Of that is going to have a bad day. They moved the supply truck in time. So, oh my, this, this is still alive. <laughs> and like, just surrounded by destroyed buildings and fire. That PA is out. He surrendered. IS-152, still alive. Is that, is this going to be able to take care of it? Nope. Nope. Where is he going to fire? Oh, he fired and got it because of the size of the shell. Oh, you can see the radius. Because the grass is all gone. So it hit over here and the grass is all wiped out to there. This is not going well for the Allies. The Valentine doesn't even have a machine gun. Missed completely. Bad IL-4. Yeah, they're trying to retake this, and they will, because I was just a stern pioneer. Oh. Oh, no. J87G wiped out by a Yak 9 and a P51D. There is nothing here. This thing, by all rights, should be dead. Because he's not he's not pulling it back. Have these guys already fired? No. It's just it's, <laughs> trust me. There's rockets coming, guys. There's rockets coming. There's rockets coming. There's rockets coming. Yeah, they're coming. That, that, that's a long delay between Mark and when they actually arrive. Uh, the AI's taken over over here. Patton's moving in too. There's only a few minutes left. He still hasn't launched. He's promised rockets, but they've never arrived. We got that flag back at least, though. Oh, no, that P-51D, that beautiful aircraft, has just kicked the bucket. Where is it going to crash? Clear of any, uh, any units. Ah, they've got four minutes to bring this back, and it doesn't look like the Allies are going to be able to do that. Yeah, they're just holding what they've got over here on the right. Ooh, P-39 going after an M1. Up to 10. It wins. Down it goes. Boom, into the open field. Oh, that, that char M4A3 didn't last very long. Oh, here come the rockets. Oof. 190's dropping the bombs, too. HE-111. 250-pound ones. There they are. Oh, they didn't go for the convoy. They hit the armored rifles there. Where are the rest of them? You've got four launchers. 
you really need to go for volume of fire. Not DB-73. There's just too much AA to bring out, bring out planes. Oh, man. Oh, man. That could have sucked. The rifles, they charged and surrendered two of those before they in turn died to a grill. Well, the IL-2M3 got something and then promptly died. How's it going over here? Uh, they still hold the hill. Here come a load of Bostons. Oh, the T-26 spam is coming in, but it's a bit too late. Does that take out? No, it did not take out the, the uh, ISU-152. It does take out this. These things aren't going to make it into the fight, which is sad. They're always fun. They are assaulting and storming, but questionable whether it's going to do much. Are they actually coming in? I don't know. He's launched them already. How's it going on the right? Uh, oh, we've lost that. <laughs> Someone's unhappy about that IS-2 over there. Uh, all that guy's artillery taken out. That P-39 and P-51D are a bit late to the party. In 50 seconds, there is no way that, they're, that the Allies are going to turn this around. It is pretty much over, so... Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Uh... Switch over to the Axis view, and I get a free victory in 30 seconds. And we're gonna hide that. Ooh, watching that plane go down. Looking at the fight across the map in the final seconds of the game. Artillery is sailing, lots of artillery. Lots of smoke from destroyed vehicles on the horizon. Another plane got shot down in the distance. And it is over. Minor victory because free win. Uh, let's see, who got the first kill? This guy with... from jo Shooter Jonah's with uh, Vin Carr. Uh, this guy got... Wow. This guy did nothing. <laughs> this guy did, like, nothing. He got a few plant kills to the plane. This got an IS-1. That Stug got a... Oh, the Calliope. That's a good kill for the Stug to get. Other than that, uh... He lost a lot, too. Oh, I just had to pick the guy that kind of sucked. What's this? Uh, GG. GG. Wow. Well, it is, uh... Ouch. This is tactical. I don't like tactical for a reason. Yeah. Enjoyable. That was actually fun, just kind of watching instead of playing and trying to comment. Just flying around the map, looking at the little stories of individual tanks going on against many uh, num uh, great numbers far exceeding their own. Not really winning, but surviving. Only for the driver to like try to drive to drive, drive away, and then turn the rear towards the enemy to be ambushed by a panther. Oh, that was terrible. That was terrible. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. This is something different. A bit of just spectating commentary and cinematic type stuff, and then looking at things. And, stuff like that a bit different don't forget to like share and subscribe see ya thank you all for watching my video don't forget to like share and subscribe if you enjoyed it also don't forget to hit that stupid little bell thing that youtube has added because otherwise you won't get notifications of any new videos if you su subscribe also follow me on twitter at genjeft 
as I always have my video updates on there, so you will never miss a video if you're on my Twitter feed, because they'll all be posted, and any other dumbass comment I make as well. So, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.